Just take a moment. Take a deep breath and see yourself sitting here. Take a breath in and out. In and out. See yourself sitting where you are. We're good. Take our roots, throw them down to our feet. Push them down to the floor, down deep through the building until we hit the soil beneath. Then we're going to push them down further deep into the earth. Down around the rocks, around the pebbles deep to the warm, moist earth, and down until we hit the bedrock. And as we move along the bedrock, we search for that pool of water deep beneath us, the waters of chaos. And as we find them, we start sucking that water back up through our roots. And we bring that water up into our legs, to our thighs, we get water up into our bellies as we breathe in, bring it up into our chest, into our heads, out to our hands, and back down into the earth. As we pull this water from deep below and let it run right through us, filling us with the powers of, of chaos. Now we reach up high into the sky through the roofs and searching for that one star high above our head. And we pull that light, that fire of order down through the sky, through our branches. Bring it down into our hands and into our head. Bring this light in, down to our chest, down to our belly. See this light fill us all the way down to our feet. The water is coming up from below, the light coming down from above. Towers of order and chaos, fire and water, mixing throughout our bodies, filling us with all this wonderful energy. Take a moment and enjoy this feeling. Testing. Then push the light back up, push the water back down. Bring yourself to center, keeping what you need and disconnect from the two powers. But no, you can always go back to them and fill yourself with them whenever you need to. Now, take a deep breath in, out, once more in, and out. And when you are ready, open your eyes and join us. So we are here to honor the gods we are here to ask for blessings. But first, let's honor the Earth Mother. Mother of all, you surround us and support us. You aid us. You nourish us. And sometimes you are hot like you are in the West. Sometimes you're wet like you are here in the East. This is just your normal cycles. For all that you do for us, we appreciate it. And Earth Mother, we make you this offering. Earth Mother, accept our offerings. Earth Mother, accept our offerings. Now we hallow our hallows. And may these hallows be hallowed not just in my house, but in all of our houses. 
first to make offerings of silver to the well. And as if these waters be connected deep below the earth to the waters of the underworld. We say sacred waters flow within us. Sacred waters flow within us. By fire, to that we burn incense. And it transforms, it sends the smoke skyward up to the heavens. Take our offerings to the upper worlds. And to that, we say sacred fire burn within us. Sacred fire burn within us. The mighty tree whose roots go deep below the earth into the underworld and whose branches go high into the sky to the upper worlds. We call on you to be our gateway and our path between all the worlds. We say sacred tree grow within us. Sacred tree grow within us. house and in all of our houses, by the light of the water, by the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the light of the water, the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the light of the water, the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. So be it. So be it. Mighty gatekeepers all, you who each and every one of us has called throughout our times, each and every one of you that has been called throughout ADF, we call to you tonight to aid us and guide us in our works. Watch over us as we walk your holy ways. We ask that you send our messages far and wide, that you bring back to us what we need to hear. For all we are asking, gatekeepers, to make you this offering. Gatekeepers, accept our offerings. Gatekeepers, accept our offerings. And now, gatekeeper, not only am I home, but in all of our homes. But the well, the gate to the underworld, fire, open, is a gate to the upper worlds. And let the tree be the crossroads between all the worlds, open to our spirits and open to our voices. Let the gates be open. Let the gates be open. We are now between the worlds. May there only be truth and love spoken. First, we offer to the shining ones. Mighty shining ones, gods and goddesses of the elder days. You who we call matrons, you who we call patrons, we offer you welcome. Gods and goddesses of our various homes. You who look over us day in and day out. We offer you welcome. Gods and goddesses of this place. You who are bound to this soil have been here long before us and will be here long after us. We offer you welcome. To all the gods and goddesses. Come, join us at our fire. Accept this offering. Next, the land spirits. All of you land spirits, fur and feather, scale and skin, leaf and twig, stem and flower. Be you seen or unseen. The fae, the all the folk, whites, whatever names you may go by. 
we call on you to come and join us at our fire. You are welcomed here in our homes and you're welcomed here in our worship. Land spirits, accept our offerings. Land spirits, accept our offerings. And to the mighty dead. To each and every one of our ancestors, those who have walked this earth, this earth before us, we offer you welcome. To all of you who we consider friends, all of you who are our heroes, who we look up to, who we honor, we offer you up. And to all the ancestors of this place, each and every home, be you known to us or not, we offer you all up. Come, join us by our fires. Ancestors, accept our offer. Ancestors, accept our offerings. And so now, if you have offerings of your own to make, please make your offerings. Gods of travel, so I may have a good day in the coming 24 hours and a good couple of weeks as I travel. Are there any other offerings that need to be made? Then we make one final offering to the mighty kindred. To you all, we give you this. In honor, we give you this in praise, we give you this in honor, we give you this. Mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. Mighty kindred. Accept our sacrifices. And now we ask in good gusty fashion for a gift called for a gift. What blessings we receive. First from the shining ones. Shining ones give us ingus. Prayers room, fertility, and the land spirits. The land spirits give us radio, the horse, oh, sorry, uh, the charity, fiscal journey. And the ancestors. The ancestors give us logos, waters, emotions. I'm reading this as pay attention to your travels, but good things will happen. I think these omens are good. Do we accept these omens? We do. We do. Then we call on the mighty kindred. In these waters here and in the waters of each and every one of our homes, we call on the kindred to fill them with the omens we have just heard. Fill them with English. Fill them with radio. 
um, with loggers. May we have the fertility, travel, and the emotions that we need in the coming week. Behold the waters of life. That, as we have said, there's nothing else that needs to be done tonight. We shall thank all that have aided us. Ancestors, each and every one of you that we've called in, each and every one of you that are in our lives for all that you do. Ancestors, we thank you. Bad spirits, we surround us. We make our lives interesting at times. You give us beauty, give us love and comfort for all that you do throughout our days, and all they have done for us in this right. Sad spirits, we thank you. The shining ones, all of you that look down upon each and every one of us, whether we know it or not. You too make our lives interesting at times. For all that you do for us and all you have done in this right, shining ones, we thank you. Thank gatekeepers all. You have opened the ways. You have aided us. You have guided us. You have brought back this omen for us to hear. For all the hard work that you've done for us, gatekeepers, we thank you. We now ask that once more you join your magic with mine, and not just in my house, but in all of our houses. May the well become the water once more. May the fire become the flame once more. May the tree become the tree Let the gates be closed. Gates be closed. Earth Mother, we honor you first. We honor you last. Without you, we would not be here. Without you, life would cease to exist. We truly honor and love you for all that you do for us. We say, First Mother, we thank you. And go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace, for this right has ended.